Well, we wanted to do a historical top 50 of uh, chess players um, of sort of all time. And to to do that, we are using um, the statistics by Jeff Sonax, who has created a site called Chess Metrics. We've gotten some help from uh, Frank Hofmeister, who is a well-renowned chess historian. But then we have still kind of added our, our own touch. Uh, and it's always going to be subjective and there's simply there's no correct answer. I hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you agree with every single ranking because usually when you publish lists what could go wrong who would disagree with anything <laughs> but yeah it's been it's been fun and i hope hope you like it have you ever met miss lindy she's a gal with the bright red hair now nah, she stands high from all the rest you know Yeah, okay, so welcome everyone to the stream. Today I'll be streaming some banner plates and we'll be playing against premium users. So let's go. I mean, I will be starting with a bit lower rated players to give them some opportunities to play and then slowly move ahead. So let me see who is, okay, 1533. Okay, just to give him an opportunity to start. So D4, Knight of 6, I go. Okay, lambda. D4, a strange move, I mean, usually it is not advisable to give central pawns like this in the opening. Let's see what is his idea. So D5. Well, he's playing fast, but I don't think, I mean, it shouldn't be principled what he's playing. Let's see. So here I can go g6, knight d7, knight c3 also. Oh, I accepted three minutes, so I have to be fast. I forgot that this is actually vandal on the top. So this game, I mean, quite interesting position. Yes, obviously some compensation. Oh, he's coming all out. Okay, let's play h5. Let's bore him a bit. Knight d7, I place my knight on f6, near to the king. So knight g3 seems logical. Okay, castle also interesting. Here b5 can go or even e6. Mm, or bishop g4. I like bishop g4 more. Just trying to discoordinate his pieces a bit. Okay, rook of one. Take the central pawn, I guess. Rook d1, knight c3 is there. Okay, but this can't be good. Queen f5 or queen b6. I mean, many choices. Let's go queen f5. Development of tempo. King b1. Obviously, my opponent is playing quite well, I would say. Like, yeah, well above his strength. Like, he's not making this obvious mistakes as of now. But obviously, I'm a pawn up, so I should be happy. So, knight b6, queen c5, queen a2, queen e5, check f6. That looks winning. Queen e7, rook f7. Yeah, let's go there. Like his king is trying, I mean, going to be under danger. 
he should obviously take tigers. I mean, if queen c3 it is just a pawn of endgame, queen b3 c4. Yeah, so he took and queen a2, let's see. F6, all calculated. Queen is on rook f7. And his king is coming to be under some very strong threats. Yeah, queen a3, very nice. But still, this endgame is even worse for him. I can simply go for this because of his pawn structure. So rook c8 and rook of c7 logical. I don't know why not. Rook d1 looks logical here. Maybe he's listening to me. <laughs> so okay, I'll size my moves a bit. So rook of c7 and mm -hmm. now he's thinking, yeah. So obviously he was listening to me. What you do? Position is bad, but yeah, that is nice. So knight b6, rook d4, f5. How about this? If a knight a4 and still f5. <coughs> this knight a4. I mean, he has to go knight f6. Yeah, but this cannot be good. Rook c3, I think, is one more. Knight c3 also should be. Strong enough. Check, check, check. King d4 rooted. Okay, let's keep some threads in there. Now rook f8, I guess, is winning. If I'm not blundering knight, no, knight e8 is not there. So obviously, I see rook c1, rook f6, the same game is winning. So rook d7, wow. Rook d7, I didn't notice. I mean, I missed, but it's fine. Rook d8, I can still. Wow, he bring out and it was a blunder. But still, position was lost. Yeah, that was a tough, I mean, tough game, but well played. So let's move on to next one. Wait, so this was some 1, 5, 3, 3. Let's give the lower guys a bit of opportunity. So 1, 9 is there, 1, 8 is there. Yeah, 3 plus 2 would be nice. One six three one. Let's play him. Little Gary. No. Let's see. Let's see this one. So I'll go d4. Knight a six d4. So it's Gary. Let's go something solid. Katana. So knight f3 is fine. DC motion g2. So he has a lot of options. He goes c6, not the idea one. I guess knight f is the move here. Also, I mean castle is there. This is obviously not the main move. Mm, I don't like the way he's playing right now. Because he just released attention in the center, gave me the center, and now he's playing passively. I wouldn't, I would say it is a mistake. That's it. it looks clearly good for me. So, knight c3, let's just play single. Well, knight on a6 again is a bit dubious because. I mean, now he has problems with just d8 bishop. Better I would have preferred b6 bishop e7. But still, I would say white is preferable. So c5, yeah. This is interesting. So here I have a choice, I guess. I mean, many moves I have bishop f4, d c5, or even knight b5, starting cd bishop f4. I guess knight will not come. D has bishop c5 there, defending the bone, but it, I mean, Rook c1 looks very, very dangerous for him. And if knight b5, bishop d7, just a4. But knight b5, knight d5, he has to block the diagonal. Then e4, knight, I don't know. Maybe it is not. I would prefer to turn on the bishop. At least in that variation, the bishop is not playing. The c1 bishop. Okay, d c5 should be a standard positional edge. That is another preferable choice. Like, 
एक आइडियल कैटलन फॉर मी टू मेनी चॉइसेस ओके लेट्स गो टू सीफाई मोर प्रिंसिपल so nice if an obishop f4 was my intention and my pieces are more looking towards the sender so it should be in obviously in my favor queen d8 rook d8 knight b6 rook a7 bishop b8 traps the rook and bishop d8 bishop d6 so this is lost it Oh, this is a nice trap. I mean, not every day the rook on it. So, rook gets trapped like this. Yeah, this is over. I don't see any difference. And he is not able, not even able to get a single piece for the rook. That's the funny thing. Just like, yeah. Yes, I mean, a bit easier, I would say, but still, well fought. I mean, at least you shouldn't have. You should have. Play the opening a bit more principled way. So now I have I can take some higher challenges. Maybe move to two thousands. Wait, which one? It would be better if you could challenge me with I mean with a one second increment. But I okay I mean because three second increment I would have to just play the moves and it will be difficult to explain to you. So let me see which one. Okay, two thousand three plus two, two to yellow twenty. So this will be interesting. I'm black. So knight of three, I go knight of six. G three. Mm -hmm. mm. So B five is an interesting idea. Not the main usual one, but okay. Let's play a bit. D five, C five. Okay, G six. C four, C six. I mean, all normal. Knight C three is obviously not normal. Like D six, I can D. Knight D five, Knight G four. I don't. Know. I mean, something like this is theory. I think, or even Bishop E six. I can try to hold on the pawn. It's not clear how he will get it back. Or oh, knight g4, knight c4, bishop e6. Many ways. So maybe knight g4. I'll go. I like it more because immediately I'm trying to get an extra extra pawn without any asymmetry. So knight c4, bishop e6. I think. Is a good move because if I take queen d4, queen d4, bishop d4, bishop h6, rook d8, rook k d1, maybe there are some issues with that for me. But okay, this is I mean simple. I think knight c4, bishop e6. But okay, he has d5, which I noticed just now. Okay, but this now it's a question how he should defend the pawn on d4. H three, I guess. Bishop e six, e three. Also, I mean, no. Okay, now d five doesn't seem so logical because already he is pawn down. Like he's he's making not indirectly making the c four pawn and as that pawn if he goes there. So e three, knight d seven. I think I'm I'm slightly preferable thanks to the extra pawn and I mean again 
I somehow managed to control the center of it easily, so shouldn't be that bad. The C2 pawn and D4 pawn, they can't really run. So let me think more. Okay, 297. Wrong A4. So let's try. If I completely blockades his position on the queen side, not giving him any squares to move. But it allows at the same time like the C4. Maybe I should have played it in like knight f6, but okay. Still, I feel position is comfortable. So knight b6, knight f6, two options. Also, I can think about jumping with the knight to b4. But in that case, knight f6 seems nice, yeah. Knight b6, I mean, that was also possible. But knight d4, it would have allowed. Knight d5, knight c5, knight b4. Maybe that was even queen c3. I mean, it's a bit... But why turn the wall this? Rook D1 and Knight D5. What is this point? Let's go Knight D5. To jump to D3 with the Knight, that will be a trade. Yeah, I think I'm, I have succeeded, and this one is going to be a second. Yeah, this was. Mm -hmm. I think I thought I was disconnected. But okay, it's not the case. Connection is a bit unstable. So D5. So Bishop D7, I can go or just takes, takes Bishop D7. Bishop D7, I mean, okay, let's let's keep it a bit complicated, I would say. Yeah, this looks uh, and I'm really hopeless, but anything could happen still. So CD5, Knight D5. B2 is hanging, but I don't think I can immediately do something there. Mm. But okay, I think C D5 have to go. Knight D5 seems good. Rook A6. Yeah. Okay, E D5. So now what should I play? Rook A seems useful anyway. Like preparing to open, but maybe Queen C8 also interesting. Position is in general better, but it doesn't mean. Black is winning, so I have to be careful to not mess it up. Mm. Also, root C8 seems natural to me. But mission G5, bishop F6, I have. Root C8 or E8. Um, let's start with rook E8. Okay, G4 is. Interesting. Queen C7, D6, okay, D6 and all the same. Oh, kind of. Knight F4, Queen F3, he wants. Uh, somehow he's playing good, I should say now, in defense. So let's say, I have no clear idea what to do here. Probably I have to come back to B4, but that's not ideal. Okay, let's go to rook c1. I'm allowing, but rook c8. Okay, let's say anyway. Go rook c8. Okay, time is running, but probably I have to prepare for this f idea. I mean, bishop at six, I can even sacrifice, I guess. Let's go. GF, GF. Oh, 
oh, his time ran out, but I think position is also quite bad. Probably lost, like probably, maybe not lost. GF, GF, Bishop of B1. I thought King is it, it continues. So, okay, I mean, that was good. that was a good game, I would say, by going open. So, next I will play some 2 1, or maybe I should take some higher guys a bit. Mm, 2 9 4 6, 2 3 2 6. Let me see. Okay, 2 9 4 6 is a good one. Let's try him out. Sweet. It's 3 plus 0, so I mean, I'll be back to the game. So, let's go d4. Knight of six, maybe Trombolski. For Blitz, I think Trombolski is a good choice. Even classical, I, I know players like that, you who plays it, but for Blitz, especially, it is not easy to play against shit. I think I'm lagging a bit, but okay. So, Knight GF3. Many setups that I can choose. And that's what actually is where the problem of choice starts. So here I think I have to go castle the king side only. Queen side is also interesting. But uh, but it will be more riskier for me. Because this bishop is looking there. Eh? K1, Bishop B7, Bishop A6, I will exchange one Bishop. Since she has the double one. Bishop C6, I will play Queen C4 or Bishop B3. Or even D5 may be stronger, even ED9, D4. Knight B8 takes, takes, and then Bishop B7. But ED9, D4, Bishop A4, it, I mean, kind of weird lines. So here would be mm, okay. Let's go a four. No, it looks like I have a space set. So queen b seven again seems to be naturally a six. Yeah, he can play like this. It's fine. Like it's good early. <laughs> Probably not yeah. like Popotam or some, or I don't really know the name, but I have seen something similar. So h5, g5 is trying to cement this position, but h5, g5, d5 in that case, light square is becoming a bit weak. If I could get to them, let's play rook at even first. Since I mean, it's good. It's better to keep options open. See. E5. Okay, let's go H5 now. E D4. Maybe he gets there. He he'll be able to okay, I'll go D5 anyway. He'll be able to activate his pieces, I think. This bishop, so. Knight c5, I have to go queen c2, I guess. To defend d4 and d4, or queen c4, b5, maybe I'm quite to give him a chance. Still, he goes for it. So, so let's take a b. Queen b or a b. Anyhow, I play h5 and fight for the light squares. Like knight h4 was my idea, but I think I am a bit slow here. So, maybe he is fine. Okay, let's go root b1, queen d3. Uh, okay, I have to go root b1. Queen d3 seems very strong. And he played it. So, queen c1. Mm. And rook e3, rook c3, queen c1, rook c8, rook e3. Okay, let's. I'm running low on time as well, which is not a good sign. And now I'll play next move rook c3. And I, I, I'm hoping that 
Meru can come to power through the third rank on the G5. So let's go on H4. Okay, let's sacrifice. That should be practically very strong. Oh, okay. So knight f5, knight e4, but knight e7, yes. This is very difficult, I think. Okay, knight e7, or rook c8 first. Okay, knight e7, let's go. Just rook c8. I think this is just lower. The tactics was a bit too hard for him to handle. But still, I'm, I have to convert it for sure. Yeah, this is so G7 is also going. But he is still trying to, okay. Oh my god, I had to play very fast now. Maybe pre move some moves. Give a check on E8 pre move. Then take one H3. Then come back again pre move. Then go E2. Then go D4. Then G3 maybe, Rook E4, yeah, I'm lagging also. So I think maybe better to switch to. Yeah, 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 that is, that's lagging very much. So better to switch to some increments, I think. So yeah, that was winning obviously, but okay. He was, I mean, with lag, it is not easy to play. So three plus two may be higher rated. One more I have. Okay, everyone is challenging me three plus zero, but three plus two I prefer. So three plus two the highest I think is two four two five Bogdan and Kirmashia. So let's play him. So back to the game. Oh, it's not loading for me. Maybe I got disconnected. Okay, I'll refresh. Yeah, d4, let's go knight f6. Mm, maybe king's india. So c face, oh, I guess, yeah. So dc, dc. Knight g2, knight c6. I am like, I, I think I have seen something similar, but not a king's Indian player, so not entirely sure if it is the exact position. Choice again is it queen d2 or should I exchange or not? So queen d2 will play root d2. Then I can take on c4, but c takes on c5. Or I can play b4. I think I have to exchange queens. That's my feeling. Let's stick to so If I exchange everything, it might. Oh, cd4 was a mistake. Oh, maybe not. Like I thought, knight d4, knight d4, knight is in check, but knight d4, I have to knight. But obviously, it was not ideal. Because in this end games, I mean, my pawn, pawns could become a bit weak. Somehow, my connection, connection is unstable, it's showing, but yeah. So, ideally, I should take on d4, but. Can I do something else like bishop h6, then f5? Of course, I have to try something related to f5, but immediately or after bishop h6. Let's go bishop h6, maybe to keep pieces for this play. He has rook c2 as well. 
maybe it is interesting here. Now bishop d3. Bishop P, I didn't like F. I thought it was better for you. For some reason, I didn't like it. Also, your pattern. Mm -hmm. Yeah, obviously, black, I mean, white is better here. My pawns are much weaker than his. But I have some trick. So rook f7, I go. Okay, let's let's try to, or it will completely damage my position. Okay, let's. Okay, it's a trick. So I'm planning rook f7. He goes rook c. But also I have bishop f8, rook f5 idea. Maybe this is a good move. My point was rook c7, I go e5, and he has to take rook of sun and king of sun, and I kind of fix my pawn structure a bit tactically. Okay, he will pause for it. Yeah, now I don't think I have much problems, but still, white should be preferable. Okay, this takes and rook c8, I have to calculate. Because rook c8, if I play, then rook c3, I don't have a choice. I have to go for the same game. Or I have rook c5, takes, takes, king c2, king e7, king d3, king d6, king e4, c4. Maybe that is a name like rook c5, I have. Or rook c3, b c3, king f6, king c2, e4, f8, and king e5, king d3. Maybe rook c5 takes this. I think this, this could be unpleasant for him, but this is terrible. Rook c5 was terrible. I think this is just lost. So h4 he has to play. But I mean not at all trivial. So g5 or h5. Both looks playable or f5. I have some more spare team behind this. Like g5 maybe. g5. On the queen side. So that's why I think I'm winning. I should be. Like King of A can't ever go. So A3, A5, I thought, okay, A5, G4, H6, then B4. Yeah, probably this is winning. Obviously, I think. He can't. He's in kind of suit, so he can't make a move. Just one moves he has to make and he'll run out of it soon. Yeah, you should have thought before entering this rook c3. That would have been my advice. Because now it's too late to think. So I'm calculating b4, ab, ab, king d4, f3, king e4, c3, b c, b3, it should be winning. Okay. Yeah, that's lost. Okay, I mean, you played well, but a critical moment you, I should say, hurried a bit. So, crown next student is challenging. I mean, I will play him one game because I mean, he is one of the familiar faces on just 24. So, let's go d4. He's from India, yeah. knight f3. C4, knight c3, all theory, bishop g5, yeah, so he took the idea. This is a complicated, maybe this was not the right choice, but we'll see. And we will see soon. Not the main thing, we should eat.
but obviously it doesn't matter like if black is prepared fully because i mean it's really complicated position so just one bad move and source are not fully recommended for blitz unless you have a really good feeling of initiative so now you have to make a decision like yeah castle seems normal so ab5 cb3 bishop f3 trying to host the bishop and i am threatening to take on d5 and play knight c3 However, he takes, but then he has queen e6. I see. If he takes with e d5 and knight c3, queen e6, bishop g4, and f4 maybe. Yeah, but h5. I mean bishop h5. He has to go after bishop g4, queen g6, f4, h5, f5, queen h7. But I mean, my pawns on e5, f5 in that variation looks crashing. Yeah, the funny thing is he can't really go king. Okay, he can go king. Weird, but knight d three he can't take with the pawn because of e six check. Okay, there also he can go king eight, and but I have a feeling that should be lost. But okay, let's take knight d five. So what is his point? Let's see knight c three. I wanted to do takes queen f three and this king and bit. It could easily come under attack. Let's include the g3 bishop also in the attack. I mean, in the play against the king, or the pawn at least d6. This looks alarming for black, but could be I could be wrong even because it's so complicated to evaluate. But bishop f8, queen d4, bishop f3, gf3, king b7. I mean, lots of things he has to calculate. I think as black. Well. For me, it's a bit of choice between promising continuations. So I would prefer practically on Simon. Wait. What? Wow, the fields. Uh, I didn't see this move. Maybe it is a good move. Bishop B7. He wants how he wants to take. Mm -hmm. Probably Queen B7. Most I have Queen D4 right now. But F4 it's so complicated. Okay, I will just take Bishop B7. At least I have the choice of playing F3 after Queen B7. Queen d4, knight b3, sir. So I have to be careful. So, bishop f2, knight d3, b3, knight d5. Mm. What's going on? No idea. Very messy. Mm. 
So I have to calculate it somewhere. So bishop f2, knight d3, maybe bishop d4. Rook h d8, d7. It is like a, with that type. But rook e7. Knight e2, but I still don't like it. It will be very difficult. We so goes knight b3. But now rook a3, b4, rook b3, I can sacrifice it. Just exchange this piece and I guess e6 is as well going. And this should be over. I mean, two pawns, as they say, is on the sixth rank is better than a rook, but I feel here also it is good enough. So king f1 with the idea rook c2, how we put that? Maybe I have to play like that. How about queen e3 and okay, even d4. Rook c2, queen d3. Maybe I had to exchange queens now. Queen d5 takes takes, but that is not at all clear. I have a feeling I misplayed a bit, but Still, it is within reach. So, queen f5, let's go. b4, rook c2, b c, rook c3. But here is checkmate. I thought he will move king b8, but I mean queen d7, queen d1. Maybe it was a draw. Ooh, maybe it was a draw. Queen d1, king f2, here is perpetual. Then I have to go root b3 check. Yeah, maybe root b3. I don't know. I mean, possibly it was a draw. I wouldn't be shocked if it was a draw. Yeah, I wasn't that careful then, but okay. So let's see. Three plus two challenges. Mm. Sergi Rashman. Okay, what? Combat. Okay, just Phoenix. Three, one, one, four, three plus two. That will be interesting. One game I will play against it and then come back. So I don't know my who's my opponent, but let's play him. Yeah, maybe he's not around. Hmm. Yeah, perhaps he is not around. So, okay, I'll abort and go for another game, perhaps. Yeah. So, the next one is there. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to play one higher rated and just to, just to get a... Okay, let's go D4. Sergi Rashman Yoff. Yeah, he's there. C4. Mm, D4. He goes for Queen's Gambit. I mean, Queen's Gambit accepted. Mm, I think Bishop D2 or Knight BD2. Don't remember exactly, but okay. Let's play Knight BD2. My threat is bishop. My threat was bishop of sun and queen b3, so he protects the bishop. Cancel. I'm sure we are still in no dead place, like everything is opening. If I... Queen 9b6, bishop b5, queen d5, something like this. I have a feeling is the theory. Okay, he goes castle. So let's develop with it. I think Bishop G5 is the move here. Not entirely sure. And they take Queen D4, I guess. I mean, even I. Okay. I could have played Knight Bd4, but maybe. But even end games, I could end easily with this pawn structure spoiled. I mean, two bishops are there, but. Still, let's force him to think a bit. So, let me think a move for him. 
should you have to take one if uh, d4 or a5 here yes but a5 i would have taken on d5 and played a3 so what is this now this gave me the choice of playing queen h4 or queen d5 and a3 then he wants c4 So if I go just queen h4 with ideas like bishop f6 or bishop somewhere like one day, maybe it is interesting. Also, his queen doesn't, I mean, does stand well on d5, but for a per, I mean, short time, yeah, like rook f d1 and all. Too many motives in his position. That's what I think. <laughs> Let's go nine PD. See if I want to throw the knight to the king side by knight e two, knight f four, knight h five, likewise. But see if I knight you see if I was a bit worried, put up here maybe rook a d one or rook of d two. That's the question. You know, I'm sure it is not going to change much, but this looks really something going wrong for him. Yeah, he now goes for principle and stuff. That is nice. So, can I go bishop h6, gh knight f5? With double threats by queen g3, but he has queen e6, I think. Yes, queen g3, queen g6. Mm. And if bishop f6 first, queen e4, queen g5, queen g6. So, I mean, he's coming via e4 to everywhere. So, knight c2, queen a5. Mm. Okay, let's just go queen g3. Not sure about this one. But at least I'm forcing him to think, I would say. But I think queen e4 he has to. Yeah, he goes for it. As expected. Let's push it a bit. I'm sure like I'm not playing the most natural way, but who knows? I mean, I'm playing against this idea of queen g6 bringing in the defense. Still, I don't know what to do if he goes queen g6. Maybe h5 takes knight s4. It really looks scary for black. Even knight t2, maybe I can. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on, but. Obviously, it is he who has to be careful. That is true. Let's put the bishop on c3. Or is it too much? C5. C5 is very strange move because it gives me this beautiful d6 square. I think it was a mistake. Probably he should have played bishop c5, which I was a bit worried because bishop c3 knight d5. And maybe there I should have gone to keep and so on. But okay, here. Take just a piece. And okay, that is an That I think was a, okay, not so clean, but still was a good way. So let's now play some some give some opportunity to the other guys. Mm, I don't know who might play. Maybe one night I'll play. 
let me see like once in a while i'll play higher rated opponents Ransom's nightmare yeah maybe this is interesting so let's go what was his nightmare no idea let him show well then So if it's Carlson's nightmare, probably I have to play like Firuza, which I'm doing. Uh, yeah, okay, but this game, I mean, I'm just following, I think I'm, I was following to some moment the game Carlson Firuza from, I don't remember where, Tata Steel perhaps, but okay, there G6 or something went in. Maybe I'm, I mean, can't recall everything. Let's enter this rail of a structure. I wanted to play. So bishop g6, knight h4, knight e4, knight g6. Okay. This is a mistake. Because you are giving this f5 square for the knight, which is very, very close to the king. Bishop c2 or knight f5. Knight f5 will take. And then I have bishop h6, I think. gh, queen g3, but knight e8 there. And it's double attack for me. Wow, crazy. Knight b3, a b3, g6. Bishop, I mean, bishop knight e7 and bishop g5, yes, king g7. So bishop g5 first, gf5. I don't see anything. Let's preserve the bishop. That was funny variation. Now with the rest. So g6, bishop at 6, I guess. And then I, okay. Wow. Now I have still bishop at 6. Yeah, bishop f6 should be winning. Knight e8, bishop g7, knight g7, queen g4, bishop f6, knight f6, and then winning is queen. Wow. Otherwise, I'm winning simply an exchange if he goes g6. So g h, queen g3 is checkmate. I don't see a defense. I think he'll go knight e8. Even I can start with queen g4, but obviously, bishop g7 is my strong right this. Okay, he takes, I take. I don't see any other move than g6, which is also losing. Okay, just go, let's just go to kd and bring the piece with tempo before taking the rook. Yeah, it is. I can't take, okay, I'll take on e7 for sure now. I was thinking of something like bishop g5, king g7, rook d7. Queen d7, queen of 6, king g8, bishop at 6 and checkmate, but queen e6, yes. Maybe that is nothing. Well, let me trick him a bit. Like before, if he goes knight b7, I have the same trick. So he has to go knight c4, then I can take. Let's say, I mean, it's it seems very aesthetically good. Okay, he goes knight c4. No, I can't do that. So let's take it and play bishop b3. Still, it's winning, but I mean, I have to play some technical positions. A bit boring. Okay. 
if you then take the file but now the six is gone yeah this is the closest it was a blunder but yeah so next one who is their serious lama let me figure out who to play I guess I so this was 2015 maybe let me I have no idea what it is um, 1400 maybe too low but I should give him a chance I guess I mean was challenging me for no let's give him a chance i will not be able to play everyone but i'll try to give some guys at least at some chances to play right up i'm sorry i was in what did i say I was in the hang of the previous game, so I was saying Rhinoceros, but this is the Rhinoceros. Okay, so. so let me try to figure out where to end. See if I need to some bishop after many moves are there for me. Mm, maybe night bd sun line will be good okay he knows something related to theory let's see obviously i'm not really into this positions but let's see i mean i don't really like my position what i what i did but okay he still likes a game now bishop is on rook c8, I just bring the rook into the game. And the plan for him is, will be to push f3 for somewhere by rook even, but he goes bishop f5. I would say it's a bit, bit strange. g5 and knight e4. Let's go. Maybe I should have played bishop a6 and then gone for knight e4 or it doesn't really matter much. So d c5, knight 10 to c3 is a choice or knight d into c5 I have or even knight into g3. Knight d into c5 seems to be a good move but knight into c3 I have to calculate. So knight c3, queen d3, knight b1. What is going on? Right. Do B1. Very crazy. Okay, let's not I mean, spend too much time on such. I think knight c3 was a good move, but it was too complicated to calculate. Like queen c2, knight b1, c6, I thought, and so on. But maybe knight a3 I had there. Yeah, probably it was best one, but. This is similar, similar edge. No, he has problems with the C3 pawn. No, Queen D. Knight is what he. Okay, let me just take the pawn. But now knight f4, am I able to trap his queen? He has queen f5 though. It was so close. I mean, knight g7, queen d4. I feel like his queen might get trapped any time soon. Knight f4, queen f5, I have to calculate very well. 
I don't see anything there. Maybe night is it, but okay. But okay, I mean, maybe I should go night or like he has to find queen or five, but knight e2, knight into c3. Because if he goes queen d4, knight e2 wins the queen. So, yeah, obviously it is easily findable, but. Oh, he gives the queen. Not that, I mean, obviously it is bad winning for me, but not that bad, I would say. But obviously, I mean, but what? He can't give the queen like that, that's sure, but lesser evil than if he had done a 2492. It would have been even worse. So now what he's doing? Like I go f and g4. Let's okay play this. And his rook is trapped, funnily enough. 2492, 2 g 392. Wherever you go, I play 92. I mean, he came to attack, but I mean, unfortunately, he sort of got trapped. So, So that was I mean, quite easy, but but okay. Opening was not that not at all easy. Game over. Which way to play? Maybe I'll take some higher rated above you now because I have played many low raters for today. Like to just to you know get some some fight. Serious Lama. If you are going to be serious, I will also be serious. Let's go. Not there. Wow. Okay, D4, Knight of Six. Mm, maybe King Cindy and I have stick to today. Okay. You landed against the King Cindy and here. So I have different setups here. Let's go d6, knight c6, something like this. Then knight d7 and d5. So now I can go directly if I take takes, knight takes, and knight d5. I think this was not right, knight we to c3, he should have played. Just you know to remove everything from this long diagonal. Or at least protect, but no e4. Unfortunately for him, with f3 knight can't go to d2. So it's like he has to make some ugly moves, yeah. So d5, I mean, I get the center. And this development is lagging. Let's see how he plays. Obviously, I would have maybe played bishop b5 here. Just okay, c4, I would have, would it have played. This looks very risky too. Okay, so cd5 is threatening and play bishop c4 and knight d2 to, to complete his development. Let's go to k8. I mean, cd knight d, bishop c4, knight b6, and bishop b3, queen g5. Yeah, almost or not developing moves. Yeah. So we should say. Ideally, it is not ideal what he's doing. So let me try to punish 94 ED3, maybe too much FE3. Okay, let's push the pawn A5 to 
open. I mean, if since I'm not able to open through the sender, I will try to open the pieces to position through the flag. Big surprise. Knight b4 again. Today I'm, I'm jumping with my knight to d3 most of the time. Maybe I should have first taken knight g4 and play knight b4. Yeah, it would have been much okay. Maybe I should just repeat once here, <laughs> but he will change for sure. That will not be wise. So c5, d c, d4. How about this? Just opening straight away. Mm -hmm. C D A B Knight C C C D Knight D put Knight C C C D D C I play D four and I think it is like close to over four and C D five Knight D five plans and obviously with such lag in development I should be winning. As soon as they started from developing the knight to d, necessarily knight to d5, but d5 he should have taken the challenge. So here, oh, I wanted to play e3, but okay. But okay, now also I think I can play next move e3. He just saw over, I guess, for him. So my rating is 3170 here. I have, it has been a long time since I played on this server, like the banner blitz I play, but then I kind of don't play much. So bishop e3, knight f5. So he wants to just play bishop e3 and stay in the position. e3, bishop e3, knight f5, to, be, to me it seems a really very dubious for him, but I can't find a real win there. But I mean, let's let's play it. And generally, it is a good idea to open the position when his key is in the center, just following the principles. We should be three rook e three. Can I go f e three? Knight h five, bishop h five, queen h four, king f one, knight f five. Mm, maybe it is also good, but why should I? Too many promising choices. Okay, let's go bishop f5 maybe. Or knight f5. Okay, let's go bishop f5. I guess he takes, I retake, and knight f3. Then queen d3, king f1, and I just play, come back with the queen. That's my point. If he doesn't take, I mean, he has to play rook c1. Seemed a bit ugly to me, but okay, maybe he's. Yeah, he goes for this. Now, can I take on e3 and play knight h5? Bishop h5, queen h4. What does that mean? He takes, takes knight h5. I'm running low on time as well. Okay, let's anyway take it and have some fun. That's it. So knight of three, knight e two. I want to play. With this queen h four. Didn't finish my calculation here, but. Okay, let's take okay. Then he has knight f3. Ooh, maybe I had to go. Oh, time is also running us. I think I had to go bishop d3. I mean, okay, this should be even winning, I guess. But I could be wrong. And knight f3 is getting, yeah, probably I was wrong. But okay. Let's fight on. 
This was so so. So oh, G3 was blunder night if I think was the best defense. They should have been winning, but I kind of I mean what a bit what? Peace. Everything is hanging. It's hanging. And it's checkmate. Not a brilliant game. I mean I should have won it quite easily, but E3 maybe was unnecessary. Let me see some more. What is there? Who is there? Maybe it's some. Crypto. Yeah, crypto, I think, was challenging me for a long time. So I will play him. Maybe this game. Let's go. C4. Let's go E6. Oh, I, okay. I forgot that I was supposed to play Kings Indian. Like I told in the previous game, but okay. Once in a while, let's switch to classical chess. Play normal. So it looks like a Catalan where he released the tension so fast. So will be good for me. C6. Obviously, this is not how they play the Catalan, but let's see. Like he gave me this fight for the center. Like usually it will be like pawn on E6 and C4. So now this is the C4 pawn being exchanged for E6 pawn, which is in my favor. Like more space for my pieces. <clears throat> Let's just play normal. I might be threatening to take on D4. No? Okay, knight D7. Bishop D7 or knight D7? Not that important, I guess, but okay, let's play Bishop D7 because knight D7, I feel like E4 here, D, knight D4. I may have to give up the bishop. One of the bishop. Okay, let's go Bishop D7. Okay, this is like my pieces are like helping a bit my pieces to come to life. So I would have preferred maybe to maintain, but okay. D D Bishop P six maybe or ninety five. Maybe I can go Bishop P seven. I'm sure if it is the best one, but it's a good one. That's all it makes matters. So knight d6 or something, bishop d6 and bishop d okay, he goes it in. Okay. So bishop d5, I thought. But if it go to k2, how would this d takes? Maybe there he has some compensation. Okay, let's go bishop d5. Like now I can, he has to take on e8, I guess. But endgame should be worse for him. This d4 pawn is too weak. Yeah, this is all, I mean, terrible. Like his bishop is bad, restricted by, I mean, he, it has no clear scope and his pawn, pawn structure is so this is a I would say ideal version I could get. Let's place the pawns on like squares. Perhaps he should have taken and placed something like a for I don't know. I would have preferred that, but still position remains bad. So 
going to exchange another set of loop. Yeah. But maybe then it is a draw. Like if you manage to exchange. So let's keep the row, one row. So now bishop c5, b6, bishop d4, takes and rook d4, and I'm winning some pawns, but but probably there he has good drawing chances. Because bishop b4, knight b4, a b4, rook d4, rook k6, maybe rook c4 I have to go. Because rook b4, rook c6, rook b2, rook b6, this pawn. I mean, I have an extra pawn, but not entirely sure if it's winning. Bishop b4 is a bad version of everything he gets. Because now I am simply two pawns up rather than one pawn. So this is an easy one. Let's push it. Just pushing on to buy it. Get to C2. Yeah, that is it. interesting, but I mean, C5 I didn't like. I'm giving up the center yeah? too early. So let me see some. Now I will take some higher rated guys if possible. Again, to feel okay. Two, three, two, six. Not that high, but it okay, still will be good, I guess. Batman, two thousand seventeen. Here we go. D four, knight of six. C four, G six. Kings India. Let's look at the castle. He goes for the main line, classical one. Okay, H3, not the main one. So, so E5 is the main one here, but let me try to improvise a bit something. Okay, I will go nice C6. Let's play like this. So let's come back and then try to send a Obviously, not a good move because I'm giving him space to extend that. Let's see if he manages to exploit it. Knight bt is not d6, maybe he can go. Okay, let's go rook eight first. Wow. So he wants to check my idea. Mm, yeah, possible. I mean, he can go g4, g5, etc. That's my NVD. Looks really scary for me. But let's try to see. Even d6 looks very really dangerous for me. So G4, now ED5, he'll take ED5 for sure. And if 95, I think, I don't know, takes, takes. I'm sure I am just completely worse here. But let's see how it goes again. Worse doesn't mean it's like lost. Chances are there, he could go wrong. Um, as white, I would maybe play f3 or king b1 because g5 I didn't like knight h5. Yeah, okay, he plays g5. Hmm. 
gh bishop f8 i wanted to try bishop f6 is also possible now i think about it bishop f8 maybe because i want to play knight f4 and take that six pawn as immediately as possible but even i can continue without taking because that's defending my king so maybe my strategy was all wrong let's go next to a knight f4 Strange kings in here. So d five, bishop c eight, d four, bishop f four, d c three, queen c three, or even bishop f two, crazy lines. Let's just take the pawn. And if I know, knight if I knight if I c six. I think I am solving all my problems now. Like knight f4, queen d2 first. Here we go. And then e f4 and e4 is hanging. Like bishop d2 he has to go, but then it's like like I'm not worse anymore. So should I exchange this dark square bishop? That's the question. Like bishop f4, bishop f4, e f4, bishop c8, rook c8, rook d7, king g7, rook b7, rook e4. So, Difficult to evaluate that one. Or should I go e f4? e f4, I mean, bishop c8 and f3 might not be good for me. Probably I have to enter this. Okay, let's go. So takes, takes on c8. Yeah, maybe it, it, this was also bad. Yeah? Because I think like takes takes rook d7, king g7, I was calculating rook b7 only f3, he can go simply. But then rook c2, now he goes f3, which is uh, hard to understand, but okay. But f5, is his, his, how is his bishop escaping? EF, GF, bishop h5, wow. And rook g8, I mean, his bishop looks very close to getting lost. Let's see if he has, I mean, if he has checkmate, it's checkmate. So, king h6, now I am threatening. Oh, rook d6 was missed. Nice move. Yeah, rook d6 is very, very nice move from my opponent. I completely forgot about it. Yeah, probably that is it. We are running long time as well. Okay, let's go to d5. Wow, that was amazing. Oh. Given was very nice. Let's try to hang on. Position is really close to lost, I guess. You play good. I don't see a clear win for him, but I have a feeling it should be lost. He's happy I didn't draw him. I mean, he should have played rook f6, I guess. He had to go to winning chances, but okay. So, what is... Let's see. Uh, 
five minutes, five, five. Yes, I'll play some. Oh, my rating. <laughs> okay, I'll try to play game more, bro. This guy, I mean, he's 2700. Just get some rating as well. Let's see if I manage this. So, d4, d6. Theory. Wow, he's going for this black lion, I guess, something like this. Knight f8, knight g6 setup. But okay, let's go p3. Yeah, he goes for it. So let's So it seems he's an aggressive player. Let's go g3, bishop g2. Just coordinating the pieces. So it should be pleasant for me unless he gets some defense or something. B6 very pointless move, see. Okay, he has the set job. I mean some ideas like A6, B5, which is typical for this structure. So maybe it has some points and draw. So let's go queen D3, stopping his idea. So bishop c8 even I can consider d5, c d e d and well. So now also d5, c5, 92 but bad kings in game. So rook d1, f5, d5, yeah rook d1, let's play, centralize. Okay, I didn't, I, I did see the h3 pawn. Wow, that was nice. Queen C8 and A6, yeah. I liked it actually. Let's go Queen D3. Oh, 92. 92 maybe, yes, that's fine. D5 is fine. Let's go Queen E2 maybe. Yes, Queen doesn't stand well on D3. Especially his rook on d8, I mean. So let's take here. Then maybe I have given up the tension a bit early, but it's fine, I guess. Okay, let's play knight b1, knight d2, knight f1, and bring the knight to f1. It's a dream, but let's see if we'll be able to get there. Because on c3, it stands poorly. So rook a8, I have to play rook a1, I guess. Or knight f1, rook a2, I have to see if rook b1 is good. He goes knight g5, let's take it. So d5, d5, I guess my bishop is a tad better than his, especially the dark squared. So might be around equal, but I can play on like bishop f6, h4, and g2 bishop is worse, obviously. So I'll try to exchange it with bishop h3. That is my point. Like bishop h3, king h3. So I should be slightly preferable, I guess, even though it might not be much. And because the position is so symmetrical. So 
still I feel like he, he should be careful a bit. So obviously he's thinking, but I don't see an um, alternative to Bishop Stay. He goes for it, but oh, Queen G4, maybe King G King S2. I should have played. I don't know why he moved to G2. Queen G4, okay. He goes Bishop B4. And better, but not easy to. I have to contain his threats first. So, rook d8 and rook k1, then queen g4, you know. King h2, there I can go. But f5, bf, queen f. Okay, time is as well running fast. Or I can just move the rook and play king h2. And then also yes, f5. Okay, let's go rook h1. Seems a bit odd, but let's do it. Let's not think too much. So here I was a bit afraid of one more. Let's see if he, okay, he does, did not yet. Maybe he'll play next nice move. Okay, let's anyway, go for it. Yeah, he plays f5, which is strong. And now I don't like my position at all. EF. I guess I have to go EF. No choice but rook F. King G2, rook F3. So in that case, I have to go knight G1 and defend this bad position. Which was, which is not ideal, of course. Okay, let's defend this now. Trying to hold on. United three. I did two. I went four. Yeah, so now I am a pawn. But I mean, spaces are active, so it will take really long to convert this. Let's see how it goes. I guess it's like another pawn. Yes. Let's take this. Yeah, this is over, I think. And anytime soon, this is me. Okay, rook 4 and rook c4. Knight f4 and rook c6, I win the piece. Yeah, that was a tough game, I would say. Not at all easy. Somehow I tricked him. Perhaps he, that position was, I mean, maybe not that bad. Like I couldn't find this knight h3 defense was pretty strong for me. So maybe with some two, three games, I will stop. So, yeah, maybe, maybe two more I can play. That's fine. So, two more I will play and stop.
okay yes sorry for disconnecting i mean my connection today was isn't as stable as usual so with two more games i will quit so let me see going to play i okay shadow me i was planning to play back to the game okay let's go maybe knight of 3 C4, G3, F and G2, F G2, so now I mean, I don't know what, he has to go D5, the C, D, now this D4 is structurally a bit bad for him. Castle Bishop of four, etc. Knight. I mean, if I knight c six and Bishop e five, what happened? So this is pleasant for me. I mean, his pieces are really passive. And mine is. I mean, my pieces are well placed, so. That tells everything about this position. I really he he would like to I guess raise his bishop on b7, but it's not happening. So that's a huge problem for him. Queen B3 seems normal, but Knight G4 I have to calculate a bit, I guess, or not. Queen B3, Knight G4, Bishop D2, mm. or B3 I can go singly. Okay, let's develop. Obviously, position is better for me, but I have some. I have some. Really good looking choices. So that's what is slightly concerning me. Like which one to go? So rook of d one. Or h three to stop all knight g four business. Or even knight a four. Many choice, maybe knight a4. I can go to put the knight on b6. Okay, that seems interesting. Mm -hmm. Now rook f1. I don't have to worry about knight g4. Could I have even taken on b7? Maybe maybe not. Would be a nice piece of rook b7, and he gets two pieces for me. Two k c1. Nice if I queen b6 is my idea. Otherwise, he might be somewhat okay. Or even queen c2. I think there also he has problems. So. Ideally, he would like to, as I told, develop his bishop, but it's not happening in time soon. Let's just make a good waiting move because b6, knight c6 is happening. Like very difficult to make a move with black. I guess knight f6 I would have made, but still no further. So now queen b6. Or knight c5, d c5. Okay, let's go queen b6. I hope my queen is not getting trapped. I don't see. Queen b, knight b6, then b4. I'll play next. Looks really bad for him. B4, knight d7. 
okay i should play b4 right knight d7 knight b3 knight b6 bishop b6 and d i'm threatening bishop c7 there also he has problems so here i win a pawn for free So knight c5 now, what bishop b7, and I can simply take. Maybe that is it. Let's take it. Now knight c3. And this is sword. Like again, this opening was a bit dubious, I would say. He should have tried to play some b6, bishop b7 immediately before I played bishop g2. Like when I played g3, he could go b6, bishop g2, bishop b7. The setup is, I mean, at least he's challenging my bishop. So, so with one more game, I will stop. So let's see if he's honest one. Mm, dangerous, right? Jesus calling. Dangerous, right? Yeah, this will be interesting. Let's see. Let's see if he's dangerous, right? What the last game? So E for a no. uh, This is a weird version. I mean, first, he, first they are supposed to play knight and six. Otherwise, they go C four. And he wants to go for Maros or no? Come on. This is really not the ideal hedgehog. Let's go Bishop E two castle. At least he's placing the bishop on b side, which is good. But queen d3 and rook k d1. And the fun rook I can bring into play by f4, perhaps. Now bishop d3. So now let me think. So if I go bishop g5, can I go knight d4, knight takes e4, bishop takes e7, knight takes e3, bishop takes f8, Oof. knight takes d1 or e2, queen e2, rook. knight takes e2 there, queen e2, rook f8, I am exchanger, but knight takes d1 is messy. But why I should calculate all this, that's the other question. I mean, I can simply play in some strategic spirit. Maybe b3, h3, but first h3 because knight g4, he might be threatening. He goes x6, let's play b3. Let's and just. Not bishop g4. Yeah, position is really horrible for him. Especially he considered the d5 square so early. And the spawn on d6. So, and so it's a clear weakness. So it's a nightmare position. But let's see. Obviously, he has to look for counter chances, but I don't see anything. And even I can go a4, I guess. But then maybe he'll come back with a knight to d7 and so on. Knight d5 looks very interesting. So let me see what this is, what he is up to. Can I go f4? Many promising choices. Knight d5, bishop d5, c d5. There I get the control of c5, I guess, because of the bishop on g4. Okay, I have to play a bit more faster. 
that's the that's what it requires. Right. Okay. I'm a bit confused with the choices. Like too, again, too many promising choices I have. Okay, let's go in like this. I'm not getting information. Okay, now root C1 takes takes queen D7 and maybe it's on time. Okay, so I will have to keep the bishop and B4, not 12 knight jumps. A5 and removing A3. I have no time, but two seconds is good enough. To play this position. I guess he has a good move. Let's see if he okay, F3 is not good. Bishop G4 is what I thought he would play. Because F3 just gives a pawn for nothing. Maybe he can retake the pawn, but his king remains in danger long term. Even I'm not sure he can move. So we see even back the pawn. Like anytime I can go G4. What is this? So bishop a6 now takes takes bc queen f5 c7 and the new queen. So probably he has to take dc and queen c7. But that looks horrible. Yeah. This rook c7 I can go with keep it open. Rook c7 queen f5 was coming. So. So bishop d8, I have a very aesthetically good looking move, bishop c8 and bishop e6. Just bringing the bishop and the pieces in general near the king. Oh, it's raining heavily. So let's see. So let's go bishop c8. I think this is this loss. He has to take on c8 because of queen e7, bishop e6, I have, and then bishop f4, d6, even falls. So it's over. He can't, he can't do anything about it. Already too late, I would say. Like all, start, all his problems started with this yeah, c5, I would say. Like I show they don't do any such committal moves so easily. So now root c7 is built. Like bishop c7, root c7, and queen of 6. Now, but queen of 6, queen c7, I have queen c6. That's important. Then I take his queen. So this is all of us. So that's it. But we see some queen eight, eight root assignment. So even if GS I can go for it. Yeah, so let me try to make this and this and bishop if I check me. Yeah, okay, that's all for today. Yeah, I'll stop now. Yeah, okay. Then. Yeah, okay. Okay, everyone, thanks for the games and it was fun. So, see you till next time. Goodbye.